Often you wish to edit the text on a slide in ProPresenter 6. In order to do that, all you need to do is right click on the slide. I have a song here and I can pick any one of these texts. I'll pick the slide number two here. Right click and choose Edit Slide. This takes me to the editor window. I'll enlarge it so you can see it better. The default text in ProPresenter 6 is simply a box with the text centered and the one item in the box. You can have multiple text boxes. That's another lesson. Let's assume we want to change the font in this particular slide. All I need to do is click inside the box and I have the lines which show the outside of the text. I'll do control key and hold that down and click the A key and that highlights the entire text. That way we're not simply changing one or two letters or words but everything. Over on the right, right next to the gear, we have a tab with an alpha on it. That is the tab that you need to be clicked on in order to edit the text. The other tabs serve different functions. Okay, the text right now is Arial. Let's change it to something else. Let's change it to uh, Britannic. And you instantly see what happens. You can also do Bold or whatever op options you have for that particular font. Here it's only bold or bold oblique simulated. The box underneath that controls the color of the text. It's white right now. I'll click on that and I have a color palette pop up. I can pick anything from the scale here, move this up or down and then click inside over here and I just changed it to an orangey color. You can also type in these numbers in red, green, and blue and, and control the opacity, which is the transparency. It, 255 means it is not transparent at all. And the farther you go down the scale, uh, the, the more the text disappears in relationship to the background. You also have an eyedropper. If there's another color anywhere on your screen, you click on that move the eyedropper and click and it will automatically change it to that particular color. Uh, so that's the color options that you have both for the text letters and the outline around the text. So we'll leave it at, at this color for now and you can also see in the preview window on the left what it looks like. Now I've changed the color, I've changed the font. Uh, if I do control A again to hold it down. I can change the size two ways, up arrow, down arrow, or I can just type a number in. If I type in 100, uh, it gives me a larger font. The next option I have below that is the outline. Now the outline is one pixel wide and it's black. You can't see that very well because we have a black background. So let's change the outline color. I'll click here. We get the same color box window. And let's try changing the outline to something that will show up here. Let's, um, let's do something that's green, maybe a light green. And I'll close that. I still can't see it very well. So what I'm going to do is increase the width of it. And you begin to see it on the preview window. You don't see it on the edit window. To see it on the edit window, you click the preview window box. And there we see the difference. Not exactly something I would use, but it does illustrate it pretty well. So I'll click back in the text here. Control A for all of it. And let's say I decide green is not my favorite color for this. So let's maybe do a purple. And I'll close my color box. It changed over here, but I can't see it very clearly. I'll change it back this way. There we go. Well, that's visible for sure. <laughs> so uh, let's see what else we can change. I'll hold the control button down, click A again. Um, it's perfectly reflected in the thumbnail, but not in this window. The next box down controls the distance between the lines, right? Set to zero. Watch what happens when I move. Now the distance between the lines of the song change. 
Below that we have left, centered, right, or justified. For example, that's left, there we go to the right, we'll go back to centered. The other box below this controls where the text is inside its original box. And we can change the size and shape of the box, but you can also, without moving the box at all, move the text to the top, have it flow down to the bottom, or leave it in the middle. There's some text reveal functions here that we also have below this, which are part of a different lesson we won't cover. It's how to do bullet lists or how to do fill in the blanks. N the other nice feature we have in ProPresenter is we can, once we have a slide the way we want it, um, and I'll highlight this again, this is what it will look like. And once we have this the way we want it to be, we can also click on this button, Apply to All, and then every slide in that particular song will look like this. Let's do that. I click on the button, and this is one where it may take a moment. Well, let me click inside here. There. There we go. I need to have the box active. I click Apply to All, and you notice at once everything changes. Now, another nice thing about ProPresenter is you don't have to find a Save button or anything. The minute you click the X and close the Editor box, everything's saved. We'll do that. And now we see in our presentation that all of the songs in this particular, all the slides in this particular song are changed. That is a brief look at the text editor features in ProPresenter 6. We hope you found this tutorial about using the slide text editing features in ProPresenter 6 to be useful to you. If you found it helpful, as always, we'd like to ask you to like us and subscribe to the Sharper Turtle. Thank you.